Alrighty, new version here, the sun at the end. Let's play this in full. Ta ta, ha ha. What are you looking at, butthead? Alright. You know, with that new staging, I like it a lot. And it's gonna be really annoying, but I'm gonna do the classic industry term split the difference. <laughs> can maybe not split the difference, but there's something. I think we can keep this guy where he is, but A, just that. Not that it's a super tangent, but it's still slightly bugging me. Very subjective personal here, but that ear right at that at that edge here. I will probably take this horse and move it over here. I know this is one of those really. Maybe this amount. So then we have the nose something ish here. And maybe also a bit lower so that the ears are still in frame. Or you would cut it off here, but just like oh, this is just not enough. You don't want to cut it here, not right there. So I would might as well just drop it a little bit so it's right there. And that way, when this starts, it's not super close. It's a bit more comfortable in, you know, the the placement. I know it's extremely picky. Probably not a uh, shop breaker, but just for myself, I have to tell you, these are my thoughts. You are also thinking here, you're saying getting rid of the tree or maybe adding more trees, but the tree is definitely bothering me. That is bothering me. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you could, I would just have that landscape slightly organic and uneven. You can have a couple of trees here, give this some, this is not just this gray and green. And then, you know, have some other trees there, maybe some tree in the foreground, the bigger piece. And then I would just add little stones here and there. Some, this is not just, again, that one just there. It's kind of flesh out that environment just a little bit and have fun with it a little bit. Other than that, I'm wondering, this seems like a massive cheat looking really past this to get that silhouette, which I like. You might be able to reduce the distance from here to here to maybe here in terms of if you rotate the head in Y, close that a little bit. It seems a bit much, which then potentially might also help you. Maybe you don't have to translate it over. It might just be the rotation with the head. I do like this. I do like that move over, but then that to me looks like he's really not looking. And if that's something you're shooting for, then I would make that more prominent like basically i'm feeling like trying to look over there and then is he is he still kind of looking or or not i'm not quite sure so either i would push this or lo really looks like he's looking because i mean he says what you're looking at and then here as well so you might have to expand the eye and show the pupil can't really push that feeling this just feels like it's a very casual almost looking and then looking away from the horse i might just i might be totally wrong this is totally right in 3d space just let me know in an email what what you did there personally i would just kind of push this like i said really clearly looking clearly following the rest is fine just a little side character I like all that stuff that's going on there just watch out for some intersections on the teeth What are you looking at, butthead? And then, to be honest, I forgot what you said about the breathing. If you're gonna do it, butthead, <laughs> butthead. That would be something in here, a little nostril, but also a little bit opening of the mouth. Butthead. To really notice that there, feel that in the mouth. The other thing is, I don't know if you have your eyes set to follow the head or an eye box that's set to keep it where the other horse is because right now it feels like there's a lot of a lot of changes there with the eye so i will make sure that that is consistent in terms of the eye line there's still a bit of slight poppiness boop, going forward and even it's just like a frame or two i know it is we're getting into picky land but it is fairly far along that i would watch out on those curves that it not popping forward a little bit there and even something in here on that frame feels like something just pops open just for one frame if you could double check that I'm looking at the legs here you know I like the offset 
It's almost like I'm wishing for these guys as they come down to be a frame or two faster. But I like that they come in last. You can adjust a couple of things there, but it's ever so slightly too slow. This is really extremely picky and probably just wrong for me. I do like that little slide there, though. This one still feels a bit harsh uh, up. Especially if you look at that line here. Boom. How quickly it stops. I like that it continues up here. But then I will go bigger with the head. For the overlap and down. There's something just ever so slightly too harsh in that stop. Also, it feels like you want to go down. I will probably go down a bit more correctly in this. I know this might feel weird and you go too far forward for something like this. But... It's probably okay because it's so fast. I'm just reacting to that shape. I know you're going for squash, but there's just something about... You know, it could even be something where as you go down, it's maybe a lean back. You could keep that head here, this slight lean back, just to keep those legs a bit more straight. Then it gets into two, like a human in a... In a horse costume and i know it's tricky you want to go down and shoot up so you kind of have to bend the legs but it'd be interesting if that could be something that could be applied that the idea that the horses always have those straight legs could that be something where it can really go back and bend almost and go back a bit with the butt and then have that head lower and then come up i'm just wondering this as you go forward careful it feels a bit stiff there's really nothing going on there and i think you can have that overshoot and slightly whew, on this rotate a bit to the side but also up a bit just adding that a bit more in there i think that's pretty cool i like that little double thing here oh and then coming down i would just keep a bit more complexity in this where this feels very clean how it lands and it kind of stays put and slides so a bit more rotation and bending in that ankle Watch out, I don't know if that's going just in or intersecting. Like in as in we can't see it behind that butt cheek. We're starting to intersect. I don't think you need to go that crazy. Because if you're going in, then I will bring the butt up. This goes in and pushes this up. Or you leave it here and as it slides, this is kind of left behind with a pivot off the top part. For something that's a bit more that but this just feels odd to come in and see this not react to a leg coming underneath tucking in there if that makes sense i like all the details though already and stuff like that ba -bang. there's something also timing wise where it feels like you're slowing down and then accelerate at the end and i don't know if that's intentional or what your plan is with that is that because this coming down adds one more energy squeeze in there? To me, I would play this more with one bigger overall slow down. And anything with this, if this comes down, might shoot up the, the middle part. This coming in is more squ squashy stretchiness of the shapes and just movement in there versus an overall momentum change. I still see this just as an overall mass coming to a slide. <laughs> I do like this though. <laughs> That's a great I like that face. That's a great face. What are you looking at, butthead? So that's kind of that. All right. Let me know if you do have any questions. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.